Now, a Liberty leader here in New Hampshire with a PhD in electrical engineering to boot. Please welcome the Honorable Dan McGuire. Thanks very much, I'm happy to be here. Um, I was in the House uh, under Speaker O'Brien, and it's not easy being Speaker. You have to organize 400 state reps. You gotta deal with 800 pieces of legislation every year. <laughs> and you have to uh, deal with 20 standing committees, who knows how many statutory committees, $10 billion state budget, and so on. But Bill's character was truly demonstrated when a piece of legislation came up to give more power to the people of New Hampshire. It's not a very well-known fact, but criminal juries have the ability to acquit people, acquit defendants, even if they're technically guilty of violating the law, when it would be wrong to send them to prison. And it's a way, it, this is called jury nullification. It's a way of restraining, having the people restrain uh, legislators and courts. And judges dislike this um, because it gives more authority to jurors. But, and frequently they disallow jurors from being, letting them know that they have this power. So a piece of legislation came up to inform jurors of this power. And even though this is not a very high profile bill, um, Speaker O'Brien noticed it and acting purely on principle he went personally to the House Judiciary Committee, convinced them to support the bill, um, and that was against what the, you know, the Judiciary Committee traditionally is on the side of judges, but, the, but Bill O'Brien convinced them to support jury nullification, and he did so purely on principle against his own personal interests, because let's face it, he's a practicing attorney, and doing something that judges aren't, aren't happy with is <laughs> not in his own interest. But Bill realized that this was a critical component of putting people ahead of government. Um, the legislation became law, and I know of at least one case where a jury decided that it would be a miscarriage of justice to uh, convict a, a particular def defendant. So we would in, be very lucky to have a leader with these demonstrated qualities. He is dedicated to his job, he's persuasive, and he acts on principle. Um, that's why we need Bill O'Brien in the US Senate. He trusts the people of New Hampshire and will fight for us. Clock TV.